Well, we're at the town of Windsor. This is the Public Works Department. I'm Garrett Broughton. I'm an associate civil engineer with the department, and I've been working with Sea Altair as a project manager for the installation of this solar array. Every couple years, we do a greenhouse gas assessment for the town. We did one in 2015. Our most recent one was in 2017, and that one predicted that the wastewater treatment plant facilities used about 38% of our entire carbon footprint. We don't have a lot of area for our disposal to put ground mount panels on. We are really kind of in a quandary is how to make such a large solar array to get rid of our carbon footprint for the treatment plant. With the available land we had, we certainly would not have been able to put a big enough solar array to power, you know, 95% of our anticipated wastewater treatment plant usage and also this corp yard and the geysers pump station which we run. We do have the surface area on ponds, just not on land. It can be used for human contact and it can be used for agricultural reasons. It is the final water from our treatment plant that's gone through not only just the traditional wastewater treatment, but it's also been filtered and disinfected. I'm Deborah Fudge. I'm the vice mayor of the town of Windsor in California. So we've been working on this project for two years, and our partners are CLE Terror and also Collins Electric. There will be almost 5,000 panels over this pond, which will take up about four acres and about 25% of the pond, to give you an idea. I'm here visiting the project site and I'm really impressed with the installation and how clean it is and how orderly and how quickly it's occurring. I used to actually work for utility and I understand some of this from that level and it's just really progressing smoothly and the town's having a really good experience and we're really excited for the day that we can actually connect the power to the solar panels and start generating electricity. I actually think it's a brilliant idea and I love the design and I love how simple it is to put together. It seems to be based on technology. I mean, who hasn't seen floating HDPE kayaks or plastic kayaks? So the idea of using otherwise unused territory or which are these pond surfaces rather than town property, which is actually very valuable and we can't necessarily spare it all to do nothing but put solar panels on it. One of the best things is this project has no direct cost to the town. Um, it's a power purchase agreement with CLA Terror. So we have also no operations and maintenance costs over the life of this project. We expect to save 80, up to 87,000 per year in our energy costs, up to $4 million over the 25 years of the power purchase agreement. Basically, CLA Terror has come in and they've got a construction contract going, a private construction contract to work on leased property. They lease the pond from the town and so far, Seal Terra Cal Odovi has been straightforward and forthcoming and uh, we've been pleased with their diligence to the building permit plan and we haven't had any major stumbling blocks at all. This floating solar project is the biggest in California. We're really, really proud of that, that we can be a leader and show other municipalities and water agencies what they can do. And we're happy to share any information that we've learned from this project with them.